Welcome, folks. This is a special episode today of QuinnCast. This is episode five, right? Five. Uh, we yes, have, sir. We have a tier list battle going on. It's called Tier List Brawl. So we have Austin, Trevor, hello. and Luke. Hello, hello. Uh, sorry, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Drinking water. <laughs> Hearing that slurp. All right, so uh, the tier list we've made are Pokemon, Cereal, and Candy. And so first off, we are going to Pokemon. So these All right, are our see tiers. Um, from left to right, then bottom left to bottom right, it's me, Austin, Trevor, and Luke. So I'm posting it for the uh, squad to see in a second. General. So first, uh, here is my list of Pokemon, right? That's what we're going for first. Yes, sir. Upload. All right, so here's my list. My S tier is Cyndaquil, and then Totodile, and then Squirtle. And these are all for me based off of design uh, because I didn't get to play after Gen 4. So question for you, just yeah. off the... Mm-hmm. You have you have a lot in the F category. Yeah. Because I put that in F because those designs to me to, don't stand out too much. They're kind of ugly in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I knew going into this, I expected your your Gen 2 to be pretty high up, which it is. You got Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Cyndaquil all... Or Chicken Rita in S and A, which isn't surprising because I know you're a fan of Gen Two. But I mean, looking at your F tier, I mean, Rowlet. Which one's Rowlet? Rowlet. Rowlet is the <laughs> is the owl with the bow tie. Oh. You're talking, about, you're talking about design. I have him pretty high up because I know my F tier is also pretty stacked, just like yours. Because I'm not a big fan of a lot of the starters. Mm-hmm. But I think Rowlet is deserving of a higher tier, and Grookey as well. It's interesting though, especially because you mentioned that you were going to based off the. What was that, Trevor? You completely cut out for about two good seconds, bro. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I was I was saying uh, when Cody said that he was going solely online just because of the uh, amount of games he hasn't played. I figured all the newer generations were going to be lower. So seeing this list doesn't surprise me, but seeing the amount in F kind of surprises me the most in that sense i mean comparing comparing to his our f2 is actually pretty similar i just think they're like those designs aren't as original as the top ones i get that i get that i I see a lot of like uh they were kind of grouped mostly together by generation yeah yeah i see i see that as well because yeah the tier tier b like it's mostly the same besides the Gen one through Gen three is all grouped in B tier or above. Yeah. So what what's the cat's name? I I don't know Pokemon either. Uh, but... Litten. 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 Why is Litten D? Because it's literally just a fucking cat. <laughs> but it turns into uh, what's his face? It's hey, true. we're talking about you're, starters. You're not wrong. You're no. not wrong. But if we're talking about this grouping them by their second evolution and their third evolution, I think Incineroar. That's tier. Is well designed more than like C yeah. tier and up of what you have listed, and that's why Typhlosion will still be S tier number uh, one spot. Finne- Finnegan <laughs> and your Finnegan and your D tier or your C tier spot two, Finnegan, her final ev- her final ev- evolution Delphox. It's trash. Is, is well deserving of last place. It's trash, <laughs> and you'll see on my list Delphox is at the bottom or uh, Finnegan. It's just. Not only the worst in six gen, but one of the worst starters overall. Ever. Overall. Right. Really nah. horrible. Terrible overall. F tier deserving. <laughs> Alright, so next is Austin's list of Pokemon. It's somewhat the same, but Interesting. Another another fan of Cyndaquil. Wow. Yeah. I I s Totodile is in last? Um, what? Yes. That's surprising for me. Yeah, that I didn't notice I, that at first, but that is that is the thing to stand. Wow, <laughs> Totodile does not deserve F tier by any means. I'm sorry. Um, so a lot of grass types. Okay, because I always chose Typhlosion when I was younger, 
Like mm -hmm. every new game I did, it was always Typhlosion. They always picked the. So you the just option. inherently hated Totodile? Uh, yes, because I just. That makes sense. Yes, I fucking hate it because like the design's neat. It's a fucking crocodile and all that shit. But it's still, I see its face and I want to fucking break its jaw like well, King Kong style. If you think about it, Totodile has <laughs> the most basic design, but that that's what makes it so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that's interesting too because honestly, Austin, you kind of remind. Me Totodile? Yeah, you always do Totodile's <laughs> like squeal when we're playing Rocket League. Like, <laughs> oh, really? But, um, yeah, I, I never, he I sounds never just like that. Anime. Okay, I yeah. know. It's, it's interesting though because you have a lot of grass types that are up, uh, up in the tier. Which That's the yeah, thing. I think most people would put them lower. Grass what? types are my type. I go for like outside of Typhlosion. Sounds a little uh, kinky. Yeah, <laughs> outside of those, um, grass types are just my go-to. Because I feel like they're completely underappreciated, and I'm like the underdog type. I'm like, you know what? Even though years down the line, I did find out, confirm or deny this, because I'm not sure. I heard that grass type is easy mode. Uh, in the beginning games, yes, because if you think about it, the first gen, uh, Brock is the first leader you fight, and grass type is strong against rock type. Right. And then you go on to face Misty, which is also the super. Yes. As well. Uh, right. Whereas if you're playing second gen, grass type is actually harder. Uh, because the first gym is a flying gym. Yeah. So, so the way that I organize a tier, S tier is Cyndaquil because Typhlosion, because best starter, don't at me. Uh, second is Litten because, uh, one, because of I main What's-His-Face and Cineroar, even though that's not even the that's I knew, when before we were talking about all this, I knew S tier because of who you play in. And yes, I was, yeah. the moment the list came up, I was excited to see my prediction came true. Yes. For those who don't know, uh, Incineroar is my main in Smash, and I fucking wreck with him. I love him. Uh, then I had to put I had to put Mudkip at A plus tier because I'm I go in order, like you know. So he's a meme. You have to respect the meme. Uh, all grass types. I mean, I'm he's playing. a good, he has a good aesthetic overall. He his design is so good. It's That's not true. just the meme. It's just pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, and then then everything else is just like well, eh, just the chikorita, the bean, looks like a bean. I was I was gonna bring that up when y'all were done. Yo, you didn't have a chikorita mighty bean, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna bring that up Pokemon mighty beans. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up when y'all were done talking. Overall, I noticed how y'all both had chikorita high up. I actually have chikorita bottom tier on my list. I mm. think their design is just very basic overall. It's not a good Pokemon overall. Horrible Pokemon, actually. This it should be noted, by the way, for those watching. There is no like correct or incorrect like tier order. This is like based on because some people play Pokemon, some people play competitively, some people have never seen these Pokemon before or even heard of them. So it's just like whatever you feel goes top tier, whether you played as them, whether you like their design, anything goes. Exactly, and that's where my list comes into play. It's design and competitive wise. I hate Shikorita's design. Shikorita is a horrible Pokemon overall. I feel like she is based and off of, why, like a seed. I think she's based off a of lima bean, actually. Yeah, but yeah, like a lima bean. And it looks. I think it's a terrible design. I think it's a terrible of... Pokemon. That's why she's in my F tier. See, mine's. I think my. I can't. Remember, I think mine's more a mid to high. I liked Shikorita because I liked Bayleaf uh, in the anime growing up and watching that kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think Megan. Like I like Meganium's design, but in comparison to the other two starters. I, why would you choose exactly Super? like typhlosion's better for alligators better All grass right. type overall is just pretty weak so yes. before we move on to well, i just have one more question for all. yeah why do you have froki alone and like what yeah why is he alone <laughs> have one in he's just like eh. i played him in smash a little bit i respect him because of that or yeah. I, I played the ninja yes Ninja or Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> he does. Oh, yeah. He does have that uh, Naruto run. Yep, this is true. I, know, I just <laughs> think Froki looks That's better than that grass-looking monkey. Next to that. I don't know. I like the grass monkey because he's fucking. He put, bro, dude goes hard on the drums. Yeah, his final evolution. He plays on the drums, oh, dude. It's fucking sick. Really, the, the turtle one too. I don't know. I like Froakie better than the turtle. I don't know. I like the idea of having like a giant. Uh, the two Pokemon. I don't even know their names. Uh, but the final evolution of the turtle one, and then Are there's an ice Blastoise and Turtwig. 
No, 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 no. There's like a giant like glacier thing that walks. It looked like it's literally oh, a Avalug. I have Avalug? no idea, but it's just yeah. a giant piece of ice and it just walks around. Yeah, I don't Avalug. Know, there's something about it, like I like the idea of like part of the land being incorporated into the uh, Pokemon universe. Just kind of makes it interesting to me. So, yeah, I like the fact that he has a giant like small little ranch on his back. All right, all right. Oh, for Turtwig. Yes. All right. So here is Trevor's list. All right, Trevor. Let's look at this. <laughs> I like you it. Know, I like I think- it. It's We're acceptable. All, okay, 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 okay. I think it's acceptable. I think I'm, it's acceptable. I'm all ears. Let me hear the question, boys. All right. Okay. Starting <laughs> off with me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> I I'm okay with your F, your D. Your S is pretty understandable. Your A is pretty understandable. Your your C tier is on notice with me. What do you so, have against Torchic? Yeah. <laughs> so in the same vein as Austin, so when Jack and I kids, I had Ruby, he had Sapphire. Uh-huh. I would always pick Sceptile and he always picked Blaze again. So it's the same same uh aspect of So uh, it's nothing against the arrival. It's just a sense. personal vindication. Well can well when it evolves into Combuskin, it's just a dick chicken. It's, <laughs> I, uh, I it's, agree. Its design I, yeah, is yeah. not great. Wrong. Mm-hmm. That's my one reservation. That's my one reservation against Torchic is Combuskin is a horrible second Evo. Right. I, I, Torchic, it's it's not the worst. Like I like him. But it's pretty. It, bad. it is what it looks like, right? It's pretty bad. Torchic uh, is good. Blaziken is amazing. I like Blaziken, but to that point, like there's a reason Trico's in my S tier, and I also, from a competitive side, was not a fan of Blaziken because it was just. Ooh. Blaziken is because it was what? so good. Uh, so Blaziken when you look at tier, Pokemon. yeah. So when you look at tier lists, especially because I really, uh, in regards to competitive, was really starting into it. Next gen. So then when it had the Mega Evolution and have speed boost, it was just broken beyond. Belief. So that's part of the reason why um, it's banned. Horsecheck is lower. So like I mentioned before the call, I wanted to put Score Bunny a little higher, just based on the anime, just because he. Fight the character in the anime, and it's really joy. Of course, I know Rala is too from Sun and Moon, but I uh, have not played the Sun and Moon game, so that's why Decidueye a lot of those are done. Is one of the down. coolest looking final evolutions, in my opinion. I agree, and I want him in Smash. And it was rumored for the longest time. Yeah, having just like a if they add another Pokemon, it's more than likely Skeptile or Decidueye. All right, yeah, I'm ready. So. I'm ready for the banter. <laughs> I uploaded it. Oh, go on. Um. Yeah, you can already tell I'm a I'm a fire type fan. Yeah, I would say I would disagree with your. Uh, I don't know. I just in terms of for design wise, I'm I not think surprised Trico, that uh, Chimchar is number one. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. I I'm I an Infernape fanboy. Infernape yeah. is my all time favorite Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. For me, I think Bulbasaur or Cyndaquil looks better than Trico. Infernape felt too similar to Blaziken. Whenever it, like I yeah. first saw the signs, I was like, they just looked like kind of the, even though one's a chicken and one's a monkey. Like uh, they just right. I know so I, I I understand that, but well, I'm a fan of like monkeys. <laughs> so they weren't <laughs> right there. Okay, I like did it. Yeah, I, I could like, tell. Uh, this is ape. I can tell. Cause look, your first A, you're in your A tier. That's a fucking monkey. Too. Yeah, I oh, well, I picked Grookey in uh, Sword and Shield. I like Rillaboom. I think his design is beautiful. Oh, compared, to the, compared to the other two, it's a fucking monkey banging on the drums, dude. I'll Why be honest. I don't, I don't have that many qualms with your list, but what'd you say, Austin? Why is the pig at the bottom? Uh, I, don't I don't like the- I don't like Tepig. I don't like uh I don't I don't remember his name for the I don't pig. even remember the middle evolution, but Embor. Yeah, oh it's it's Embor. I don't like Embor or Delphux at all. That's a yeah. fucking dope name. I Embor. like I, I like Embor. He's a beefy uh, he, he he's beefy and he has a very niche uh, strategy, but he's horrible competitive. The design is not good at all. I know he's like a wrestling. Pig. Well, that's that's the thing too, right? If you're going, yeah. So here's the thing, though. If you're playing fifth gen and a fighter, a fighting, I'm sorry, a fire Pokemon, the one you go with is Darmanitan. Like that the, or Darmanitan or, for their Blitz Choice Band is well, a, yeah. Okay. Or later in the game with Bulbasaur, but what? I mean. What's a what's a Dar- Darmanitan? Darmanitan's uh, it's a fifth gen Pokemon. It's it's a, another fire. It's like a fire gorilla. 
But if you throw a choice, well, man, it's it, yeah, it's like a uh, he one hit KOs anything. Yeah. Hmm. They need to make like a like a like a uh, episode in Pokemon where it's like a giant Infernape. Like, I don't know why it's giant. Oh, they have the giant Pokemon thing now. Yeah, uh, Gigantamax. Yes, have that Gigantamax Pokemon climb a building, and then it has to fight a gigantic like Charizard or something like that. And make <laughs> it like a Godzilla versus King Kong. Bro, do you know how fucking sick that would be? Bro, Austin, I'm coming over, and you're you and I are gonna play and Shield. Yeah, yes. the, thing about, the thing about my list, I think the top five are, like, my top favorite. And I think Squirtle just has a better, like, OG nostalgia look than Froakie. But Greninja, but Greninja, Greninja is cooler than Blastoise, by far. Greninja, I, just, Greninja, I, just, I disagree. I think Greninja is cooler than Blastoise. And there's a design, or? As as a design-wise and competitive, I don't, I don't have, I have Squirtle higher than Froakie. I just like I the think, idea. I go think ahead. I think Squirtle's design looks better than Froakie. But if you go competitive and later evolution design, I think Greninja is cooler than Blastoise. I think in terms of creativity, Blastoise tops it for me. Um, but in terms of design, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, one the way I see it, one is a ninja that throws water shurikens, whatever they're called. And they okay. can jump high because he's a frog. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, if yeah. you think, it, I, don't, I know y'all don't play competitively, but competitively, Greninja is one of the strongest Pokemon in the meta. It's stupid. And then, is, I, I don't know, I like, the, I, I like the idea of having a turtle with a fucking water cannon on it. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't disagree at all. I love Blastoise, and I love I love Greninja. I just think Greninja's better, but the reason on my <laughs> list is I think Squirtle... His OG design is better than Froakie's OG design. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, though, like in the in terms of like comparing the all the other uh, Gen One Final Evolutions, Blastoise is kind of that sore thumb. Like one's like a giant frog with a plane on its back. The other one's a fucking dragon. This one's a turtle with a cannon that comes out of it. Two cannons. And I think I think that's why so many people like Squirtle more. I mean, Squirtle. It's so out there. Honestly. Squirtle, you could argue, has a better design than Charmander and Bulbasaur. It's just well, I, I love I love the fire types. I love Charmander. I love dragons. I think Charmander is by far the cooler Pokemon. So Luke, but you Squirtle know what's has a better OG design. So Luke, you know what's interesting about your list though is yeah. that have uh, first and second gen than anyone else being in the tier. Wait, say but, that again. You, so you you have uh, a first gen Pokemon and two second gen Pokemon than anyone else on their list being in the B. Yeah. Which I think is interesting because I think definitely with all the lists, there's a common bias of... Cyndaquil. Yeah. Yeah, and if I, if, I had to, if I had to put a uh, collective winner, I mean, it'd be Cyndaquil being all th uh, in three of the... Agreed. Or I, I guess maybe Squirtle even just being up there as well. I mean, Charmander would be up. To, Charmander and Bulbasaur would be up there as well. I was the only. Yeah, I was the only one that put uh, Bulbasaur in uh, uh, S tier. Yeah, I think our. I mean, all of our list obviously has a bias towards first through third gens. I mean, that's because that's, that's because of our age. I mean, we're all see. Yeah, yeah, and the re I put Charmander not A plus, but A just because I think it's it's a little overrated in my opinion. But I I also like Charmander too. Yeah, but. I, I just I love Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Mm -hmm. He's by far. All, all three evolutions, all mega evolutions, Gigantamax. Um, picking out the tier list, who who do you guys think would be the most sensible one? My vote is Trevor's. Uh, let's scroll through this again. I would also vote me, but <laughs> that's... Well, Trevor, that's Trevor's is the third, right? Yeah, Trevor's is the third one. All right, uh, let's look at this. I'm going for Cody or Trevor, but I'm going through another look through this. Y'all have very similar lists. Yeah. Yeah, Trevor and Cody have very similar lists. Um, let's see. I just don't like how y'all both dish on Rowlet. <laughs> it's oh. an owl with a bow tie. Come on. Turtwig and Grok are both getting So up. Luke, I don't like uh Rowlet's uh, middle evolution. I, I hate the like in between tween looking one. If you I, think about it, all all evolutions have ugly middle evolutions. War Turtle, Charmeleon, uh, Bayleaf. Dude, not sure about that. 
They all have ugly that. middles. I super disagree with that. Right. Awesome. What's your okay. pick? The Pokemon with the best Pokemon. middle evolution will be Trico. I thought you were going to say Monferno, and I was about to be like, bruh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Kabuskin awesome. is the ugliest, but the first Actually, and the third are beautiful. Actually, honestly, uh, it's a toss-up between Cody and Trevor. I would have to say... I vote for Trevor. I'm throwing the I'm throwing the feels good man on Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw it. Oh, I appreciate it. Hey, cheers to that, my friend. You're throwing on what? I'm going to I'm I'm have to go with Cody, honestly, All because right. him and I have very similar lists. So we have a we have a tie. Uh, well, that depends. Are you voting for yourself? Can you vote for yourself? <laughs> oh, the problem well, is if you think about it, Cody and Austin haven't played as much as me and Trevor. Yeah, right. That's so true. Me and Trevor have the veteran vote. So I, Cody, yeah, Cody I mean, and I Austin said, have like the the amateur nostalgia <laughs> vote. Yeah, <laughs> the amateur hour vote. But well, and I think Cody provides a really interesting perspective on it, just based on design, especially uh, coming from his background. So I just I hate his C and F tier. <laughs> My C and F. <laughs> all right, you, all right. you dish fine. you dish on Froki, Chimchar, Turk Twig, Rollet, Grokey. Listen, yeah. oof. C's not bad. Your your C tier is pretty bad. Froki and Chimchar, two of the fan favorites in C tier. I mean, like a C grade is not a bad grade. <laughs> if it's not A, it's passing, right? It's <laughs> passing. She's right? degrees, right, my man? All right, all right. Not, so sure. not only not only is your C tier, your your mediocre tier is mediocre. So your, your F tier is F tier. <laughs> all right, so Trevor is the winner for the Pokemon tier list. All right, we're, we're on the serial now. Yeah. I'll hold my tongue. <laughs> So here's my list. Oh, hold my tongue. So but my my me, S he has controversial opinions. My S oh, is Lucky why? Charms, uh, Captain Crunch, just the uh, I guess the treasure, the loot, gold nuggets. CT Crunch and uh, CT Crunch. Um, my A is Captain Crunch berries, just because <laughs> Crunch berries aren't. Like the mix between the two aren't bad, but yeah. when it says "oops, all berries." trash bro i've had that i've never had it wasn't an oops it's all intentional (laughs) fuck out of here and next i've never had all oops Um, trevor's trevor's gearing up to take on capitalistic america (laughs) bro i know i'm right there with captain crunch has pillaged our aisles too long (laughs) pillaged our aisles our lists are so similar Yeah. yeah very similar to mine well with a couple exceptions all right, so A Honey Nut Cheerios is an A. Regular Cheerios is not B. My okay, okay. I was gonna say my only reservation would be you're never had would be Honey Smacks, and I yeah, have that in my never A tier. Never had Honey Smacks. Cody, you should show my list last because uh, Cody, I'm Cody, different. <laughs> well, I, I'm curious as to why you have Cheerios as A and not Honey Nut Cheerios because no Honey Nut Cheerios. That's, that's oh, what I was about did to I say. mix them? That's what I was about to say. Sorry, I think well, I mixed them up. So those are up. regular Cheerios, but here's okay. Hear me I out. I mixed them up. They're supposed to be switched. Cheerios. Hold on. Hear, hear me out on regular Cheerios. You have regular Cheerios. Put a little bit of brown oh, sugar on not. it. So so good, bro. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But sorry, I meant to you put. See, I never spiced up my cereals like that. It'd be like six in the morning, but like, dude, I'm so fucking tired. Let me throw yeah. it. Sure no, I, I'm, we're so, this is plain cereal out of the box. We're not talking about spicing cereal up. <laughs> Luke, you don't season your sp- cereal. Yeah, I don't <laughs> really spice cereal. Dude, <laughs> it, it, I, it was only until it, it was only until college I would be like making uh, oatmeal or some fucking waffles in the morning. Call or high school it would literally just be cereal. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. Regular Cheerios with a little bit of brown sugar. Sweet. I don't. I don't even eat cereal now. <laughs> I do. Honestly, yeah, I like really you know, it's funny. I'm looking at so this. Why is Cookie Crisp at C? I just I'm, okay. Apple. So hold on, Austin. I Dude, agree one hundred percent. Cereal is well deserving of A T. <laughs> Cookie Crisp is trash, bro. I agree. Whoa! Hold up, dude. I think I need to leave the chat. Cookie Crisp is well deserving of A tier. Yeah. No, 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 no. Dude, just eat regular Maybe cookies. B. I think I might have put it in B tier. Yeah, you don't have cookies for breakfast. Austin put Cookie Crisp in S tier. Uh, next. Wait. No. What? Wait, what did you say? His list is just... <laughs> That's Trevor's list. <laughs> So Trevor's list is just the recess bus. I, I, <laughs> I, Thank you, Summer, I, for saying the nasty. I, I, <laughs> I, I, 
Are you joking? That is the most overrated cereal. I can't. I can't even. <laughs> I don't even think I put that in I mine. Can't even. I don't, yeah, I didn't even put it it's in not, mine. It's just reason. It's just reason. You didn't put anything else from like never had or trash. It's just reason. Like, there's, no, there's, no, there's no comparison. Oh, God. Oh, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Fucking Luke got up. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, they yeah, look great, so. bro. Okay, I'm back. Hold on. <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate flavor. <laughs> it is literally just Reese's Puff. <laughs> I was, I was doing it uh, legitly, and I was just like, you know, nah. Right, this is right. the best. This yeah. is the best by hold far. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I was doing uh, my career in 2K, and I was Puff, so Mike Player was on the box of Reese's Puffs. I was like, I could die happy All right, in I'm, the game. I, all right, I'm gonna finish this <laughs> I have I have Reese's Puff in S tier, so I completely agree. I, <laughs> I forgot so. to hit. You're the only one okay, that. Okay, okay, let, let, before okay, so who has Trevor? Reese's Puffs in B, bro? Your boy, because it's overrated as fuck. I, I must have skipped. I must have skipped over it because I forgot to put that in my list. Did you send mine? All right, yeah, mine's mine's the one before Trevor's. I would have put it in B <laughs> as well. I'm not a peanut butter guy, really, or chocolate. I am, but like cereal. I had it so much growing up. I got Reese's I got Puffs. sick of it. All right, all right. Is Austin's the second one? Yeah, Austin's is the second one, and then yours is the third one. Okay, at least we're all in agreement that CT Crunch is a superior cereal. And yeah. Lucky Charms. What yeah. the fuck is Smart Start? I li- yeah, bro. I like Lucky Charms. Hold on, it's, it's, not even, it's not even a competition. CT Crunch is the way to go. And see, yeah. I put CT Crunch up there, but it's a Crunch Berries. I don't know how y'all could do it without the berries. That's why I was just like, Cody, what? what, what no, the you, have like, you have C- Plain James. You have, you're, the, you're the third one, right? What you talking about? I'm the one with the smart chart, smart start in the. Uh, oh, Luke's is the third. Luke's what, yours. What is the, the hell is smart start? No, the you have the fucking you have the normal CT crunch. That is that. That's that 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 been our, the like S-tier. a go-to. It's just so it's it, there's nothing special about it. But if I'm gonna have cereal, I'm gonna float to one of those three because smart start will fill you up and it tastes good as shit. I also am not appreciative of how adamant you are about having. Dingleberries in your Captain Crunch, bro. Well, Not into that. Wait, only, wait, 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 only... wait, 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 Austin, you're the second one, right? Yeah. yeah. How are you gonna call Pops and Honeycomb trash? Because they're trash. Okay, I'm Pops, sorry. Pops by themselves when they're dry are good. In milk, I don't like them. Wait, do you have regular Rice Krispie? And yeah, trash. A, a, a trash. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's a like trash. Uh, bro, I might as well be eating rice with I nothing. No, I, I love the Rice Krispies. Yeah, Reese's Puff, you have Reese's Puff B tier, Pops yeah. trash tier, and Honeycomb trash tier, and Apple Jacks and Honey Nut Cheerios B tier. Yeah. I put Reese, Rice Krispies in A, bro. Oh my I love rice god. Krispies. Yeah. What are you against Honeycomb? That's your that's your very bottom. I put that in trash as well. I think. <laughs> I don't like I don't like Honeycomb. I'll take Golden Grand. <laughs> I, I don't no, like honeycomb. It is literally a honey nut cheerio plus pops. I'm sorry, I can can you say that again? I didn't quite catch you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Jesus. and I'll take a large chocolate shake too. Thank you. I think the biggest crime of this all is that Austin put Reese's Reese's Pups in B tier. In B tier, it's right, and it's not just B tier; it's last B tier. I think yeah. it's okay. I, I like, but if I had any other choice, it, it's it's literally Crunch Berries, which you have in S tier. Yeah, Crunch Berries slap. I will take the sacrifice of a fucking bloody mouth to get me some sweet, sweet Crunch Berries. <laughs> a bloody mouth, fuck would that you, shit. Bro. Would you rather substitute that with some soft peanut butter and chocolate? Yeah, you know what, Austin? I'll take the sacrifice of have pussy. <laughs> and Rice Krispie, or I'm sorry, Reese's Puffs. Fuck out of here, dog. Trevor with just Reese's Puff on his lips. Dude, yep. that's all you need, bro. That's all you sorry, need. Sorry, brother. Sorry. All right. <laughs> all right. Are we moving on to 
Wait, Tennessee are we gonna vote on the list? Yeah, that's what we're no, 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 we haven't gotten a vote yet. Bro. All right, I think. Yeah, y'all didn't even discuss my list, or we didn't even vote. Oh, wait, okay. Wait, wait. Luke, yeah. Luke having Cookie Crisp in A is just incorrect. I agree. No, what? he's correct. No, he no, is no, correct. No, no, no. Don't, don't listen Cookie to them. Crisp. Don't listen to them. Is yeah, it, is it thank you, Austin. B You're most. welcome. On you. We might have had some. We might have had some qualms <laughs> on our on my list yeah. personally, but Cookie I back Crisp you on that. Chris is no. well deserving. Luke's of list is shit. Hey. Cocoa Pebbles. So I agree. And Cocoa Puffs is way too low. Cocoa Puffs and Cocoa Pebbles deserve that. Is literally trash. Really overrated. No, you have trash oh, over Fruit Loops. I like to think of so many like broken crumbs of Fruity Loops on the floor. Hold on, hold on. How the fuck are you gonna call them stomping up the mall, y'all? What are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, seriously, hold on, hold on. Yes, doctor. Yeah, Luke's taste buds are fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, got I got it, I got it. Yes, doctor. I'm sorry, Trevor has amnesia and can't even finish his own fucking list. <laughs> Dude, you don't need anything. Just Reese's Puff, baby. <laughs> How are you going to dish on my list when you yeah. put one cereal on your list? Yeah, uh, Trevor, when are the... Uh, when peanut butter chocolate flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, when are, when are you supposed to go back to the loony bin? <laughs> <laughs> what time? Yeah, hey, I'm taking back my reactions. Fuck your list. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. It's getting personal, and we haven't even gotten to candy. Whoa. Trevlon. Trevlon. How are you gonna shit on my list when I'm you not gonna shit on your list? list. Wait, wait, what the fuck are Lucio's? <laughs> what the fuck are Lucio's? It is, it's the Overwatch cereal. It is the <laughs> it is the it is Honey Nut Cheerios with vanilla flavor. I agree with almost everything on your list except for. Other than that, if I have to make a vote on whose list is the best, I, my vote is yours. Thank you. Uh, my my reasoning for our Fruit Loops is that. Fruit Loops is tricks plus Fruity Pebbles, but worse. Mm. So why is Fruity Pebbles so uh, and uh, Cocoa Let's, Pebbles? Tricks is better than Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops is Fruit Loops plus tricks. Therefore, tricks is bottom. But what about Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles? Cocoa fruity Pebbles, Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles are, are both trash. That's why they're all down there. I like Fruity Pebbles, but Cocoa Pebbles. The only reason I thought you were gonna put it down there because they gave you such a small box and charge you so fucking much for it because of the brand name, which I would agree with, which is why I put mine a little bit lower. But they still taste pretty decent. My, okay, when I build my list, I do this for every list. It's my preference above the one next to it. I would rather have Tricks than Fruity Pebbles, but I would rather have Fruity Pebbles than Fruit Loops. But you'd yes. rather have pops over tricks. I would. Well, hold on, hold on. Old uh, tricks. Also, right? hey, D Trevor, when's that doctor's appointment for Luke's taste buds? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. But when when you when you're talking about tricks, you're talking about the kind, right? Where they're the, actually the OG. different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm with you now. I'm okay. with you because I was taking it as how it is. Yeah, because they try to cut costs on the specific designs of them, so right. they're like, oh, they're all yeah. fucking it's circular. Right. Right. So yeah. I mean, I'm, you think I'm, about I'm, it. Cocoa Pebbles is just trash all together because it's literally just Fruity Pebbles, but every every single pebble is just cocoa. Yeah, but Fruit nasty. Loops is literally just Fruity Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles on their own fucking like Honey Nut Cheerio rings. I love how everybody put Frosted Flakes at B tier at least. Yeah, Frosted Flakes is good. It's, it's, it's not great. It's it's literally Chernobyl. It's not it's not great, but it's not good. Yeah, it's it's painfully out. It's it's sugar coated fucking flakes. That's literally what it is. Yeah. Frosted flakes is the cereal you the you cereal get, you get when you're uh, at school early and you get to go to the breakfast line. Yes. In the cafeteria. Frosted flakes, fruity pebbles, and cocoa pebbles are all the same thing. Changed my mind. <laughs> I'm surprised. Who's who's uh, Luke? I'm surprised Apple Jacks is so high. Apple Jacks is good, dude. Cinnabon, man. No, I agree. Like, I think they're pretty good, but I don't think I put them in A tier. I think I put mine at like. I, I think Apple Jacks is better than Nut Cheerios and Fruit Loops. Apple Jacks is under. I think is the most underrated. It is the most slept on cereal. You know yeah. what I've noticed? Nobody else included the fucking uh, uh, Halloween cereal. Uh, yeah, the only seasonal, one. Dude. All I'm eating is Reese's Puffs, bro. Brand brand loyal. <laughs> Brand loyal. Um, all right. Well, for me, I think the one that meets the middle of everybody would be Luke's. So I vote Luke's as the winner of. Throwing out the paw goo, dude. Um, I would actually have to go with you again, Cody. But my cereal is. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You but, and I have very sim very very similar ones. Like Some of are course. A little lower than I put, but overall. 
Yeah, yeah, of course I, I would choose I myself, but... Except for, for Honey Bunches of Oats, you fucking monster. And Peanut Butter Crunch, those are not trash. Trash. You're trash. Cheerash. But... <laughs> Here's the thing, Luke, you have Reese's Puffs and S, right? Mm. Yep, that's my vote. Yes, sir. All right, so Luke's the winner of cereal. Now we move on to candy. All right, yeah, I, I know I'm going to get last place. So I'm just going to shit on I'm you. I'm right, so the uh, first you're gonna one. Shit on me. You're going to take just hot, steamy shits on me for the next 20 minutes. Ooh, a nice <laughs> Cleveland I agree steam. with Summer. She says, Lucky Charms without marshmallows is the equivalent of human dog food. All right, so first <laughs> one. Oh, it's rainy outside. Okay. Um, the first one, top left for the viewers, is mine. So here's mine. Hold on, hold on, Cody. I... Why are fucking punches first? Thank you. That's I my love question. sour punch straws, bro. That's my no. I Let's... put them like. I fucking I love remember. them. I I don't even want to hear it, dude. Cody, Questions. Your S tier with sour punch straws in the very first place. You already have my vote. Why are yeah, see? stoppers so high? Exactly. Sour punch. Oh come on. Sour punch straws is by far the best candy. No contest. Gobstoppers. No, sour no. punch straws. Oh. You said, wait, wait. so you agree with the sour punch straws? Sour one? punch straws is by far the best candy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wait, who's <laughs> left? Who left? Uh, <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I disagree with your F tier, like, 30. Uh, I, I have, a, I have like a 4% disagree with your F tier. I disagree My with F your what's, F Okay, what's in the F tier awesome. that you You and I are going to have a similar list, I feel. I don't, Potentially. Think, I don't think Twizzlers, Candy Corn, or Hubba Bubba Gum belong in F tier. Uh, no, 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 no. Candy oh, Corn is, is, is awful. Pocky candy doesn't need to be that high. The greatest candy don't need to be that high. Hey, Pocky's a cultural Hubba thing. Hubba Bubba <laughs> tastes divine. No. Why are Tootsie Rolls down there? Why are Jelly Beans down there? Why are Pixie Sticks down there? Pixie Sticks is crafted by Pixie Sticks. Dog Pixie Sticks. Shit. Come on, man. Come on. Pixie Sticks is dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> they are the <laughs> worst to eat, bro. Pixie Sticks is really just that's sugar with like fibery flavoring. Listen, crunch. listen. Can we all just agree my S tier is decent? Uh, no. Except trolleys and Sour Patch Kids. I oh, I meant to, I meant to switch so, those two on. around. Oh, that shit kind of overshadows everything. Let's hear Sour, let's sour hear Patch Kids thought. taste like a 90s printer that just low on ink. All right, listen. So here's my let's explanation. Let's hear Cody's thoughts. So S tier, Sour Punch Straws, mm, easy. Uh, I meant to switch. Horrible explanation, but keep going. <laughs> well, you easy. can you can Horrible. okay you can drink out of them. There's different flavors, bro. The Sour what? Punch to your fucking tongue, dude. <laughs> Straws Sour are punch straws. literally as tier candy, S -tier. dude. And there's a good proportion, a portion of the straws. The flavoring is proportionally balanced. The, the sour gets you going. It keeps. No, sorry, you're wrong. You vote for nothing. Yeah. This, 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 this is trash. Thank you. No, no, no. All right, and what then. Is, let me hear your arguments against sour punch straws, dude. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! They're full. Oh, yeah. They're full. <laughs> they're oh no! I'm sorry. I'm having a brain injury. I'm trying to process this. Oh, he's on my screen. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I don't care if I get a noise complaint here. I'm gonna start fucking getting mad. Oh my god! The flavor is balanced. Oh my god! The flavor is balanced. Oh my god! It's just such a good candy. It belongs in C tier. Utilization of oh, it's also a straw. Oh well. Well, I mean, I guess so. I gotta put it as the number one candy of all time because I can drink my milk out of it. No! Oh Who's drinking God. milk out of a Sour Punch no, straw? You're drinking soda in the movie theater. Bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Sour Punch is bad. I'm saying Sour Punch does not deserve number one of all these things. Put it like B, lower B. Hell no, nah, bro. Give me so a reason it belongs in B. So here's my, here's my. Just like something you have, and then you're like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm not gonna have this for another seven months. Why? Here's my take on it. Sour, uh, sour punch straws are something you get at like a high school basketball game, high school football game. The or every movie That's you a, go no, to. No, no, no. Everywhere. It's an, it's an everywhere candy. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Yeah. Disagree. Kazoozles are not on this list. When you look at sour candy and you look at kind of a gummy taste, I think that sour punch straws are not deserving I, of an S. I, I would put Kazoozles 
right up there with Sour Punch Straws. But no, I don't think Kazoozles are better than Sour Punch Straws. Kazoozles shit all over Sour Punch Straws. I would put Sour Punch Straws are in a different class. Yeah, a class above Kazoozles. I would put Kazoozles up there, but Kazoozles do not have the sourness, the diversity of taste. It does. It only has one flavor. Sour Punch Straws has four, five, six flavors. No, Kazoozles has multiple flavors, bro. It does not. It does not have as many as Sour Punch Straws. Yeah, not as many. No, the watermelon, the strawberry, the the cherry. Sour Punch Straws has like apple, blue, and like like the green one, the red one, and the blue one. Green apple, blueberry. I think it's a watermelon one. Does not have as many tastes. As Sour Punch Straws, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Sour Punch flavor. Straws taste like shit, so no matter what. Hell no. Oh, That's a hot take. I'm my camera down. Hell no. <laughs> if I could reach I through this camera. If I could reach through this stuff. camera, I would just shave I you. Would I would shave you right now. I would do you the honor of putting Kazoo's S tier because it's deserved. But you have Agreed. to do the same honor as putting Sour Punch Straws in S tier. Nah, bro. Hey, they, Sour Punch Sour, Straws S tier. The S Sour Punch Straws sounds for. The Zeus is the Hercules as Hercules is the Zeus. They're up there, but it's not the same. Okay, so let's talk about other things in F tier because there's a lot wrong here. Yeah, um, F tier like your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shit on camera so Cody can't post this. Hold on, what else do you disagree with in F tier? Because there's only one thing I'm kind uh, of. We're, we're still talking about Cody's about. list, right? Uh, okay, yes, we're talking about. Uh, I'm talking Twizzlers, Milky Way, Fun Dip, uh, Gum Rope, uh, Candy Corn, <laughs> Hubble Bubba. So I have seven. I have eight, Almond Joy too. I have eight. Yeah, Bro, I have Luke, eight. Luke, your I list. Have, I agree. I agree with Luke. Yeah, I have eight agree. disagrees with Cody. Dude, this <laughs> yes, list I, have, I think I have nine. Gum Rope. Listen, I look. If you look at my list, you can tell that the sour stuff. Trevor, this is what reaches my, the top. My argument for right. the, the the fruity flavor. I like fruit flavored things. Growing up, I had the tape rope every Christmas and Easter. Oh, dude. those were always in my basket slash presents. Yeah, it's great. I felt like they were for privileged people. I never. Cody, are, <laughs> Cody, Cody can, can everybody see F tier? Like if you're uh, like like whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely agree with dots. Dots is one of the worst candy ever. Yeah, made. fuck. Yeah. Dots <laughs> is trash. Dots is All trash. All right, let's let's move on to Austin's. I feel like we've been going on right. too much. Cody's right. like, I can't take the heat. <laughs> no, no. For time's sake. All right, here's Austin's. I agree with the Twix. Jelly I beans are an S? Yeah, but I don't right. agree with jelly beans so, being an S. So, Cody, what is Bro, that's a bean boozle bit. I'm asking you to shit on Austin's list. Wait, what? What did you what? say? What is YouTube's policy for me to show my ass and I get a fat steamer on Austin's list? <laughs> well, it's not showing the screen. Jelly right now. Belly is one of the worst candies in the history of mankind. I'm sorry, I like variety in what I'm eating. John so... F. Kennedy's favorite candy was Jelly Bellies, and he sent us to the moon, but his candy sent us to hell. <laughs> Wait, did he act? No, he didn't actually. He also got shot in the head. So Jelly fine. Belly is one of the worst candies ever made by man. I Ever. like sour there's jelly beans, hard, like, but I, I like it because there's so many not, not just jelly belly, just jelly beans in general. How are seasonal? How is fun dip in A and almond joys in A? You oh god, almond joys are, are so you, good. Dude, that's it's obscene. That is disgusting. No, are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I wait, put almond wait, joy wait, and wait, mounds wait, in F. Wait. Yeah, you know, I agree with summer. Bad. Summer says almond joy is so good. I agree. Can we stop ignoring the fact you both put Sour Patch Kids in S tier? Yeah, is, um, I'm sorry, tastes like we're, Luke, we're still trying to get this doctor to come and pit, like fix your taste bud. So until it then, your opinion tastes, is valid. It literally tastes it, like inked up paper. It tastes like wet, inky paper. I'm, bro, I'm sorry, but I don't eat wet, inky paper. But if it's going to taste like Sour Patch Kid, I might eat wet, wet inky it paper. Is, yeah, maybe that's why you're autism instead of autism. Look, this is what, <laughs> look, this is why you, look, this is what happens to your taste buds, Luke, when you eat every day. Why is, why is Pixie Sticks in B? In B? Because yeah. Pixie, Pixie Sticks aren't bad. It's just a nice little sweet they're Just obnoxious to eat. Sugar, ten percent strawberry flavoring. Wait, for which one? Pixie Six is ninety percent sugar, ten percent strawberry, uh, like food coloring. Bro, just eat Kool Aid powder. 
Yeah. yeah you, yeah, as you might as well just be snorting Kool Aid. All powder. I'm saying is, it's not bad. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually. Did uh, Cody? Where did you put? Warheads? I'm sorry, you enjoy eating paper and drinking. I think Kool-Aid. I put Warheads in C or B. Wow, I love Warheads. I love Twizzlers too. Twizzlers smack. I agree with you on Twizzlers, but Sour Patch Kids, I cannot get over, dude. But the thing that was missing in this whole list was the Reese's Fast Break, which I'm sure Trevor, I don't know if you even heard, Trevor, this whole list is like, we had to ban one of the candies because it would get triple, quadruple S tier, and that is uh, Reese's Fast Break. I literally I'm, had one before we I'm ate with you before you got Okay, it. Reese's, awesome, Reese's awesome. Fast Breaks and Kazoozles are my... Awesome. Huh. I, want, I have I to want... go eat dinner. I'll be back. Austin, I want a hearty debate on Swedish Fish, Mike and Ike, and Dots. The only reason is because Mike and Ike and Dots are literally the same thing. And Swedish Swedish Fish tastes almost similar. So why do you have those so far apart? Because Swedish Fish is just like Sour Patch Kids, except it's exclusively, I agree with Summer, um, it's exclusively... Uh, like the red flavor, the best flavor of the Sour Patch Kid, next to blue, but they don't have blue Swedish fish, whatever. So it's like a they have the sharkies, South blue sharkies. Kind of <laughs> What's that? I said they have blue sharkies. They, blue they do uh, the blue shark, like the gummies. Yeah, they're not in the list, in the list. but like, I'm just saying they have blue sharks mm-hmm. in the world. That's true. Those those are weird. I got in trouble with the cops when I was like four because I was stealing them. Oh. Because <laughs> I thought it was just like you reach in and you take them. And then my mom was just like, go to the fucking policeman and tell him what you did. And I was like sobbing. I was like, I stole the blue <laughs> shark candy. <laughs> so I also did that actually happen? Yes, that actually happened. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since, uh... I've done that on more than one occasion. So they're literally the same candy, but just different flavor. Mike and Ike's are okay. But like, I like the sour Mike and Nikes. The they didn't have the sour Mike and Nikes, so I was a little sad. And I mean, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, cream eggs are good, but they're not amazing. Starbursts are good. And they're not Why do you have Laffy Taffy's Starburst. so low? Laffy Taffy's are good, but they're so small. And they're annoying. Tell me they're not the most annoying candy to open. Yeah, it's the same as Airheads. Wait, what? Airheads are annoying. Taffy as well. and Airheads are almost the same as like when you're opening. Airheads are it. easier to open than Laffy Taffy. Barely. Some t- barely. They're, they're kind of the it's same. It's because the wrapping on Laffy Taffy is so like flimsy and it's, it's very Airhead papery. is just like sour Laffy Taffy and easier to open. It's yeah. just almost yes, the same is, flavor. Hence why it's higher. Sweet tarts are good. Um, they didn't have the they had the uh, what's called sour worms up. Uh, up there, but they didn't have the sour skittles. If sour skittles were up there, I'd put them like S here. Okay. All right. So let's move on to Luke's candy list. Here is Luke's. I'm ready to get dumped on. All right. See, me and Luke think the same way with oh, our yeah. number one pick. You got Kit Kat at bottom and Swedish Fish. Um, and sour pa- and jelly bean. Cool. So when's the fight, man? When are we, gonna, <laughs> when are we fucking gonna like start throwing the hands? Because I motherfucking will. This is cr- this is criminal. This, you're gonna get demonetized on YouTube, Cody. To, to this, I will always argue that Kit Kat is the inferior chocolate. Kit Kat. Taste wise, it totally is not. inferior. Design wise, it is inferior. It's designed for you to share it. It's fucking food. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, <laughs> listen. No, there's the design go, behind you it. You literally have to go. Here you go. Have a piece of it. When it's not just like, here you go. Like, why wouldn't you just go and eat into it whole? Like a piece of bread. In case you want to like have one or two. Okay, so Snickers does the same thing where you have little pieces. Same with almonds. But, but Snickers with- comes pre-split. Kit Kat is literally still together like a piece okay, of. Okay, so then what about Hershey's bar? Why Hershey's bars aren't uh, on here. I know that was weird, but you have Mr. Good Bars. But the same Hershey thing. bars are the exact same way. But listen, you think about it. Taste wise, Milky Way <laughs> is a superior point. chocolate. You're think, going my. I think you're going my point. Twigs. They're the same thing. What is your point? What is my your point? point? Is that Kit Kats function the same way that Hershey's kids, or I'm sorry, Hershey bars do. And 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 uh, Crunch bars. Hershey, and- Hershey bars come pre split in like little 
eight millimeter by eight millimeter pieces. They're more annoying to break them in half. Yeah, I don't like. I would put. I would probably put Hershey below Kit Kat. Wait, do you not like Hershey's? I don't. <laughs> See, I'm not much of a chocolate guy either. But if I... Way, I'm, I'm saying Cody, I'm not a chocolate guy, but Milky Way and Twix and Almond Joy has superior chocolates yeah. by far. I'll put Twix and Butterfinger as the. I'd say Reese's is a little chocolates. high. Kit Kat Crunch are trash. Why is candy corn number two? Candy corn Dude. is a beautiful, beautiful candy. I hope you choke on one. Shit. I hope I do too. <laughs> At least if I die, I'll be tasting goodness. I strong, yeah. Uh, what Summer says, I strongly agree. And Kit disagree Kat is designed your... horribly, and because of how horribly designed, List. it doesn't make for up in taste. Because Milky Way and Twix are so far beyond in taste and flavor and scrumptiousness that Kit Kat belongs in F tier because how shit it is. See, for I'm, me, uh, I'm surprised Snickers is, is so low. Why? I don't like it. Milky Way and Twix are better. Again, Milky Way no, and Twix are better. But they're way low. Yeah, Kit Kat's amazing. I don't, I don't understand. I, Kit Kat's Kit Kat, in the same category. No, Kit Kit Kat, Kat listen, li- listen, 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 listen. Kit Kat design is shit. I'm already pissed off how I'm opening it, how I'm splitting it. I bite into it. It tastes like I'm biting into the Gobi Desert or like Straight up Nevada desert. I'm sorry, that's what we are. Like, oh my god, I'm already dehydrated. When it's Milky Way and Twix, I'm like, oh my god, the flavor okay, so is exploding. Then, yeah, it's a it, yeah, the wafer is revolutionary. <laughs> boo, boo. I bite in a Kit Kat, I'm already fucking dead. Milky Way and Twigs. Do you, oh like, okay, god. what about the wafer candies or the wafer like snack things? Like boo, boo. <laughs> Nutter butters. Boo! I like Nutter Butters, but... Boo no. Nutter Butter! Dude, boo all! I don't like John Okay. Butter. I think you're fucking wrong! Uh, I'm what sorry, but I'm mean? snacking! I don't like dying! <laughs> it is heavy on the... Th- you like, apparently the... don't like living either because you're... Butter, 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 They're very heavy. Potato chips! Oh my god, I'm sorry I don't like drinking... Snacking! <laughs> They're uh, shit! I, 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 I'm, uh, you cut out the little bit of I'm sorry shit. or something. Like, you know, we know dog you're shit. sorry. It's okay. Kit Kat, I'm sorry. I'm in the fucking wilderness when I'm eating a chocolate, when I'm eating milk way, when it tastes good. Why are foreheads at B? Because foreheads are ass! <laughs> foreheads are I'm going to give you the D. It's going to be the most sour D you've ever had Listen. in your life. God, I'm sorry when I want to eat something good. I don't want to fucking contort my mouth into a 90 degree Photoshop. Distortion <laughs> fish angle angle. Hey Siri, what's my blood pressure? It's rising. Oh my god! <laughs> See, gummy worms, the reason why I had an S is because they're juicy and they have flavor more than Sour Patch Kids. Trolley, okay. Default, why are sweet tarts so low? Default gummy worms will be the same as S tier gummy bears because it's the same thing. Uh, uh, D tier gummy worms? They try so hard to be uh, Sour Punch Straws plus Gummy Bears, they fall so fucking flat. Yeah, it's the not flavor, as sour. The flavor's gone. The flavor's gone. They coat themselves in 1900 sugar plantation sugar. Yes. It literally tastes like it's rolled up in straight out of Georgia sugar. That's like the straight point up. Of candy. That shit the point of candy straight up is ass. Sour gummy that worms. That it loses all like flavor, way. all uniqueness. That is just ass. I disagree. I love how you're just sitting like so matter of factly, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my god, motherfucker, motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> open, drop with your chest. Say what you mean. Say what you mean. I am providing, bro. Yeah, you're closing off the world. Right? Objective. Point of view. I'm correct. Fighting <laughs> you. Listen, listen, Austin Butler. Austin Butler. Literally, you're literally just rebuting with just mockery. Instead of providing point of views and stances. Look, I don't argue with broken taste buds, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell me, is Kit Kat dry or scrumptious? Scrumptious? No, it is not. Eat a Kit Kat. Go to the store right now. Go buy a Kit Kat. Tell me it is scrumptious. Where's my keys? It is not! Where are my keys? Milky Way <laughs> and Twix are scrumptious. They are full. Kit Kat is dry! <laughs> Tell me Kit Kat is more strong than I'm looking away. Oh my god. Never come back. Do you understand what you're about to say? Kit Kat is not. 
killing you! Get up, Milky Way! Last mistake you ever made! Oh my Last god! Mistake. I am so mad! Kit Kat is not more scrumptious than a Milky Way! Oh and that is objective! That is not subjective! Kit Kat is not more filling than a Milky Way! Okay, we're gonna have some technical tip get <laughs> Listen, oh, the only re- okay. difficulty is because I'm gonna is. sit here and look at Green in three seconds and strangle the ever-living life out of him! It is not even subjective or subjective. Kit Kat is dry taste. Milky right. Way is filling, scrumptious. I'll see you. The, the only. I will see you. I will see you in five minutes. You can the, eat, you can come eat back. a Kit Kat. It come back. It tastes like bread. Milky Way tastes like you're biting into a full loaf of scrumptious cocoa powder bread. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Milky Way is more filling. It probably has more calories too because of how more filling it is. It is a full taste. You bite into it. It doesn't taste like you're biting into dirt, like Kit Kat, because it is fragile. You probably look at a molecular. Kit Kat probably looks like it's made out of toothpicks. Milky Way is probably bit built out of brick blocks. Because it is more filling, more compound, more compact taste than a Kit Kat. Have you ever had a white chocolate Kit Kat, though? I, I probably have. All right, so All right, Trevor so is Trevor back. Yeah. I just don't get how you can have candy corn, sour punch straws, and S. Laffy Taffy and A, along with Twi- Like, your list is basically opposite of mine. Like, I- w With all some right. in-between, but like, I am not a fan of your all list right, at all. Alright, listen, listen. Me, me and Cody- Ugh, already, All my joy is up there, too. Gross. Me, me and Cody already discussed. Sour Punch Straws is just a superior candy. It's not, it is, though. It has- It has the flavor- Well, listen, everybody agreed on Twix and like, B or above, or like, so, something like- some, nope. some to that extent. Sour punch straws have that perfect balance of just sugary goodness, but it has that flavor on top. It has the myriad of flavors from blueberry to cherry to watermelon, strawberry, whatever you name it. Lemon, it has it there. Candy corn, I'm the only one representing the candy corn nation. The candy <laughs> corn, candy corn candy nation. Your candy <laughs> corn represents Halloween as a whole. It has that perfect sugary goodness. And, and, like the pumpkin Halloween and then you didn't put any of the Halloween cereals in your tier list. Listen. Oh. Listen. Listen. But he had represent and you had you represent that Halloween. Well, I'm not I'm not talking about representing Halloween. Soul represent I'm not King Jack of the pumpkin patch. I'm just saying candy corn is slept on by the majority. Thinking they're following the wave. Oh, just let's just take a fat dump on candy corn. No, I like candy corn. Everyone, I like that much. change my mind when you walk into a house during like September through November, and there's a bowl of candy corn. You don't take a handful and start nipping on it. No, because everyone does. Because everyone does, and you can't change my mind. Not a handful. Not a handful. Candy corn is represented no. by the populace, and I am the champion of that. You so just one to see if they're fresh. Good. It is here's the, the thing. It's fresh. Listen, when you Brother walk in your grandpa's <laughs> house and you see those caramel, those caramel candies, little chews, you throw it in your mouth. That's what everybody does for candy corn, but nobody likes to admit it. But candy corn is slept on. Candy corn is good. You can't change my mind. So okay, hear me out. So, I get it, and I'm with you on going. Like my my parents will throw out a bowl of candy corn. Yeah. I will take one or. It's not a handful. It's not a great candy. <laughs> Hands down, it's seasonal. For it's reason. still shit. If it was, if it was not Maybe seasonal, it's just I, me. I, 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 I enjoy the. I enjoy fall. I enjoy autumn. It is by far the best season. I agree. I love. I love the Halloween culture. I, I think agree. candy corn's good. I'm a champion of candy corn for that reason. I'd rather just have other candy aside from candy corn. And All right, be my guest and drop eighty dollars on throwing Reese's cup in a bowl. 
Oh, who says it's for them kids? Fuck them kids. <laughs> who says for them kids? <laughs> okay, can we can we at least talk about the Reese's Cups? I don't care ones? what you dress okay. up. Okay, like. you can for I me. change my mind and say Reese's Cup does not belong in S tier. It is by far the inferior chocolate. No, Reese's. Okay, Big Cat. Reese's no, Crunch. No, Snickers. No, no. Twix. Almond Joy. No. Are we talking about the mini Whoppers over? Reese's Cup is by far. The superior yeah. chocolate. You can put a poll on Twitter. You can put a I'm poll scared. on BuzzFeed. You can put a poll on Facebook. Reese's Cup will always come out as number one. Why? Because it's superior chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> People who sign that. Mm. The All thing right. is, is that there's a difference between the Reese's Cups that's on here. Those are superior to the little itty bitty ones. The Reese's, itty bitty ones Reese's, are trash. No. Reese's Cup is better than Reese's Pieces. Agreed. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. Reese's Cup. Or Reese's Pieces is Reese's attempt at combating Skittles and M and M's. So M&Ms, hold on, yeah, Skittles not right now. Hold on, I have here's here's something that I took in consideration for my list. There's other candy that tastes better when it's someone else's and not your own. Thus being Skittles, and I think Reese's Cups are in that uh, as well. Although I still put mine pretty high. Um, there's where, candy where that do you just put Reese's Cup. I don't. I don't. We remember. haven't. Po- we haven't Cody posted his yet. No, we, we haven't put here. Up. Yeah. Hold up. So we we have two questions for you, Trevor. Okay. Luke, I forgot both of them. I remember one of them. Well, no, my list is just my list is the one posted right now. Are we talking about my list or Trevor's? Your list. Okay. Well, you because can that is Cody's last post. We need to debate like what you and I were almost like. Oh, right, Trevor, no. Trevor, 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 Trevor. Me and Austin just had a debate, almost like fifteen minutes. Milky Way or Twix? Milky Way. Right. So my argument was Milky Way tastes fuller, fresher, thicker than Kit Kat. I said Kit Kat tastes like you were biting into a bag of sand. That's where I was arguing. I I, I agree that Milky Way is fuller. I don't think it tastes like sand because it don't. Left or right Twix, they're both ass. Hey, I love Twix. Twix is god tier for me. I love Twix. Wait, Trevor, is this your Trevor, list? Trevor, you are the chosen one. Trevor, Thank you. you have you have Kit Kat in B tier and Milky Way in D tier. Why do you leave? You left. I meant, I meant to hit general, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Trevor, you have Kit Kat in your B tier and uh, Milky Way in your what D tier. What are we looking at? Yeah, we're yeah, looking at. I I, I prefer so, Snickers, Kit so Kats, and Reese's over Twix and Milky Way. Although if it's going off like list in within the tier, Milky Way would be ahead of Jolly Ranchers and Twix and Dum Dums for that matter. Right. Uh, I just I just put them in that tier. Well, my argument was that Milky Way is a fuller taste than Kit Kat. Yeah, there's more going on. I just like right. Kit Kat more. Which- like I would rather get grab a Kit Kat versus a Milky Way personally. Okay. Ooh, that's my thing. Is, if you were talking, if we're talking about chocolate candies, you want that sweet, delectable goodness because it's chocolate. When people eat chocolate, they want that sweetness. You can't sit there and tell me that Kit Kat doesn't taste like you're biting into the Sahara Desert, and Milky Way tastes like you're you're. Taking a chunk out of Willy Wonka's two ass. Bro, bro, have a Twix, then you'll taste the Sahara Desert. <laughs> no, no, dude. the I thing disagree. with Kit Kat, I disagree. Kit Kat is a dry, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. powdery taste. Bro, bro, eat a fucking Whopper. Those things taste like shit. Or a that's Martini. the Whopper fucking Sahara Desert. Kit Kat. That's a lie, bro. You're Kit Kat literally <laughs> tastes no, like are you joke. Okay, we didn't even get to this yet. Are you? <laughs> Serious? All right. Go get your Whoppers. Are you eating gravel? I might as well eat gravel. No. Are you serious? All right, listen. Okay, gravel at least is fuller than a sand because gravel is <laughs> Kit Kat is sand. All right. Nah, we'll, listen, everyone. We'll, Whoppers, we'll... Whoppers are literally ground up coffee beans. With <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll discuss chocolate bars another time, but let's <laughs> let's go to go Trevor's list. <laughs> All right. I, Trevor, I think Trevor's list is a fat cat alone because Gobstoppers in S tier. Yeah, yeah, Gobstoppers are great, bro. I, they don't belong in S tier though. I, I think you I think in, in, in my opinion. So I think like, your argument on Milky Way and Kit Kat is rendered relevant because you have Gobstoppers in S tier. I love Gobstoppers. So Gobstoppers and Nerds are some of the candy I grab the most of. Yeah, I like Nerds, and I agree with your sour gummy worms. 
Nerds is a no cap. Gummy worms. Could so just... here, here's my complaint about this list, though. Bottle caps weren't listed. Bottle caps severely underrated. I agree. Do you bottle underrated. caps would, without a doubt, be argued for the worst candy ever designed by human. Designed, but they're not the worst tasting, bro. Trevor, turn your camera on. Oh my Kit bad. Kat is the New England Patriots of candy. You know how many championships they won, bro? <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Kit Kat is the Golden State Warriors of candy. You're yeah, okay. Yeah. You're keep keep explaining excellence, one? bro. Keep explaining excellence. I yeah, can't even I turn agree. on my the fucking Warriors webcam. Warriors are right pretty now. good. Not this season, but they won five in a row. Mm. My argument is was everyone good. can explain why they're good, but Kevin. nobody can validate why. Oh, so good. you're saying uh, Kit Kats are the Kevin Durant of candy? <laughs> oh, you ain't wrong. wrong. I, I don't agree. understand the metaphor here, but I'll agree with you. Okay. That's all we need to hear. For those NBA fans, you heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right so, so wait, hold on. Aside from, aside from the... Uh, it, it is like saying and... Easter is better than Christmas. That's wrong. Yeah, that is very wrong. Yeah. Uh, hold on. So, hold on. As, aside from Kit Kats and Gobstoppers, what it, else? Is it wrong? somehow wins, but it doesn't deserve the win. So what it's else is wrong? Thing. What else is wrong? Uh, about your list? Yeah. Let me go down from... The whole list. Top I agree with nerds. Nerds are nerds. Gobstopper, Swedish that. Fish, Spree, Kit Kat, Sweet Tarts, Pez, M&M's. I think Jelly Bellies. I think Jelly, 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 Jelly Bellies. Mike and Ike's Dots. Sour Punch Straws deserves to be S tier. But Warheads deserve way higher like they don't they B don't at b tier at minimum warheads they are better than candy warheads, corn warheads, warheads they have a, yes they are better than candy not deserve to be less than hot warheads stuff. have a d ceiling at most <laughs> or at least well, you, you put twix at d below. you put twix at d tier so that is an invalid and milky you know, way at d tier and milky way Milky Way would be like a D plus. It would be like right in between C. It, it'll be a sixty nine. Trevor, it would be a, yeah, man. <laughs> Think about it like this: nice. Would you rather have a Milky Way or a fucking Starburst? I would rather have a Starburst. Really? Mm. Yeah, I'd rather have a Starburst. I'm a fruit guy though. Yeah, I like fruit. I would rather I, I flavor. Just, I, I would not I mean, agree with that. It, it, it depends on the mood I'm in, right? Because, like, if so, I want chocolate... Right. Then Would you rather chocolate. have a piece of Milky Way or a fucking Dum Dum? Milky Way. Well, then why do you have Milky Way below Dum Dum? Because <laughs> uh, I think Dum Dums are iconic. Well, so... They're, they're in, iconic. They are. They're in the same um, category to me. Like, I, Oh, you didn't, you didn't order the list like that? Not necessarily. I did... Um, towards like s and a but other than that like not really right. I, the the only the only cap i have about yours is that you have like laffy taffy milky way and lifesavers and sour punch straws below pez and who in the uh, right I, mind wait, you put pez who, in the, who in the right mind be like yeah. hey bro you got a pez on you you packing heat bro, bro, man, pez. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I got a motherfucking thing on me dog <laughs> Bro, okay, no, no, I have I have a question about your number one chocolate, Mister Good Bar. That's not my number one chocolate. It's in that category though. Okay, so then what's your number one chocolate in that category then? It would probably be uh, Reese's Cups or uh, Snickers. Snickers. Yeah. yeah, you're doing it. You're doing Reese's Cup and deserve the same tier as Spree, Kit Kat, and Sweet Tarts. I'm sorry. E, they just weren't A for me, just because I'm not like chocolate's typically not my go-to, and that's I mean, the me neither. But I can respect it's not an A. Reese's Cup and Butterfinger God tier. So if I had to move things up, I would move Snickers and Reese's Cups up to A. I am such a mixed bag. I literally have chocolates and like like non-chocolate things just kind of scattered. Well, mine's my labeled mind. for non-chocolates and. Chocolates are like grouped together. I think I think I have Twizzler is the highest out of everyone though. No, who has it in B? I, I mean, think Austin. probably. I like no, Twizzlers no, no. a lot. I, I, no, I put mine in S tier. I had a I had a roommate. I put, I put Twizzlers in B. 
Mine Dude, I bad. had a I had a roommate who liked red vines over Twizzlers, and I was like, "You're a psycho." Yeah, he's actually yeah, no. I had to my doors locked, bro. Like, you're a fucking you're a, you're, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna, ch- you're good. gonna create a new set of red vines, bro. No, here's the thing. Those are those the cherry ones that you can peel, right? No, it's literally Twizzlers, but it's a more cinnamon taste. Yeah. Ew. Which one's the one that's like <laughs> right? The that's Twizzlers. That like Twizzlers, you can peel like them. Those, yeah, Twizzlers and Revens, I'm pretty sure peel. I was about to say string cheese, but <laughs> yeah, they both they both feel like string cheese. I'm pretty sure. Bro, string cheese is good. String cheese is good. <laughs> but you eat it like a monster, like like some people do. Right. But oh, so like, like eating a Kit Kat just full on. Yeah. So as a yeah. middle ground, what would you guys think? I would. Would you if, vote for? Gonna, Which I know list? nobody's gonna vote for me. So I I think Cody's is the closest. Uh, I'm gonna go with Trevor. I'm gonna go with my own. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just, and it's just, very, like, I think. Yeah, I think me and Cody are pretty polar opposite. I'm also, I'm also gonna go with mine. So. <laughs> I, I, I think. I think. Uh, uh, Trevor is, split, is the uh, least broken. Yeah. I think if I if I were to pick someone that wasn't mine, it would be between uh, Austin and Cody. The, I think I'm leaning more towards Austin. If it yeah, wasn't a, mine, I would probably... Yeah, I think I'm leaning actually more towards Austin, except he put Runtz way too low. I'll, yeah, I picked Austin's if it wasn't Wait, mine. Wait, Runtz was on the list? Yeah. Yeah, man. Where'd you see that? It was hard. I didn't uh, know what uh, it said at first. orange box. So if you look at Cody's, it's right next to Hot Tamales and C. Hot Tamales and C. It's at the end of C. Mm, yeah, oh, I, think, I, I do I th- see that. I, yeah, I would probably put that in like B or C. I don't know. I, I think I'd probably end up going with Cody's, to be honest. Yeah, I th- I'm going to vote Cody. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Cody's probably missing his peach rings for us, too. I know. Do you want to see Yo, peach, peach rings? rings should have been added. Yeah, for sure, I'll man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I yeah, agreed. I also love the uh, hard Lego candy too. That's my shit. Mm, I never had the Lego candy. I remember that in the Good Mythical too Morning. Hard. That was pretty. Dude, oh, it's the best. I love like, that chalky heart. Like, wait, oh, so great. I like chalky. Like, I, the hardest that thing is your barrels, bro. Well, they didn't have sour ropes, bro. I I just can't take you seriously if you think bottle caps are good candy. Yeah, bottle caps are great, bro. Bottle caps are hella underrated. We're They're very chalky. I'm not really into chalky candy. Where would y'all put Nerds Rope? Nerds Rope would be S tier. S tier. Fucking cap, dude. S tier. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. All right. All right. But to round it all out, we uh, talked about Pokemon tier list, which I think Trevor won the tier list. Mm. Um, mm, mm. The serial tier list, I think Luke was the winner, right? Um, and then <laughs> this last one, it was a tie, basically. for uh, Between Austin and Cody, right? Uh, I was that it, like, I don't dude. It I'll be honest. I'm I'm pretty shocked I didn't win the cereal one. <laughs> you, you're trolling with the cereal one. That was funny. That was funny. Fun, though. I'll be honest. I legit put in like I was like, oh, this is this tier. This is this tier. And I, I was g- like, I gave you my vote. The Reese's Puff has this tier. Hey, cheers, yeah, that brother. Was, that was really hey, I, you, hey, Luke. I gave you my vote because you had it. You're wrong. you're wrong if you didn't have Reese's. Puff. Aside from that, I agreed with your list on cereal the most, Luke. But it's interesting. We all kind of like agreed uh, yeah. roughly around everything. Yeah, um, everything everything was like a general consensus. Most. Except for Candy. I feel like Candy was the one that that was, that was the hot Austin spot. denying the fact that Candy has- I'm sorry that my taste buds have ascended beyond your realm of comprehension. <laughs> oh, right. You can't accept the fact that Kit Kat is a dry ass chocolate bar. Well, right. It is dry. It is dry. I'm, I won't front on that. It is dry. I like it. That, but, but that's the thing. Like it, it's dry, wait. but the chocolate helps cream it out. I'm not looking at your list right now, Luke. Crunch or Kit Kat? I'd rather take Crunch. crunch. That's really? why. I if I'm well, eating listen. chocolate. 
If I'm eating chocolate, I don't want to be botting into a bag well, of sand. Kit Kat. He just picks Crunch over Kit Kat because he was in the commercial, bro. Well, listen, listen, listen. Crunch wait, wait, and wait, Kit wait. Kat are the same Luke chocolate. Looks like the kid that says that's why I like Nestle Crunch. Yes. Well, Kit Kat's yes. also <laughs> Nestle. Looks like you're paid spot, like you got paid by a sponsor. <laughs> Yo, shout out Crunch. Shout out Nestle. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Reese's Puffs. Sponsor us. Listen, Ki uh, <laughs> Kit Kat's also a Nestle chocolate. Looks like I would never have anything else. Hubba Bubba's awful. I hate it. I like Mentos way better. I like Mentos way better. <laughs> I'm sorry your childhood was robbed of all the good. <laughs> Alright, but that was, uh, I guess, the first edition <laughs> of... I'm sorry you grew Almost. up playing Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, that was the first edition of Friendly Fire Tier List Brawl. We'll Ooh, have I like friendly fire. That's a great name. <laughs> we'll uh, have to do this again. Probably a shorter one. Probably one tier list at a time. Probably um, a good yeah. idea. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. Vote on what we should uh, do our tier list next on. Uh, that's a good idea. Yep. Yeah, vote on Twitter at uh, follow me at Cody Win. And yeah, we will uh, catch you guys next time. Peace. Gang gang. <laughs>